Welcome to CryptoZone. Hi guys, subscribe to my channel now so that you do not forget. Hit that bell icon and get notified of my further uploads. Lastly, feel free to comment. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up at the end of the video. You can also support me by following this link. Morning guys, welcome back to my channel. As you've noticed, I haven't been on the channel for, uh, for a long time. It's because I didn't really have anything worth putting on. Uh, no projects was going on or anything. But now, we've got a new problem and a new video. So, a few weeks ago, I've noticed that there's a problem with my car, not pulling correctly, uh, loss of power, no performance, that kind of stuff. Just to find out that the timing gear was worn out on the shaft. Later on, I found out the shaft itself on the keyway has been worn out a bit on the crankshaft. So, uh, we made a plan to fit it. It worked for four days and now suddenly the car again has no power, same story. It's like it's missing or missing an idling. So we are on the hunt now to find the problem and then how to fix the problem. That's the other problem. <laughs> so problems, or not problems, just challenges. That's our challenge for today. So we're back again with our <coughs> Corsa Utility Bucky and we are going to try and see if we can basically sort it out. So as you guys can see, our repairs that we've done in January is still holding up perfectly. There's absolutely no oil leaks anywhere on this engine and it's just 100%. It's good, doing well. Our problem lies down there by the cranked, crank gear itself. So the first step that we have to do is we're going to have to remove the air filter, this assembly, take off the V-belt and take off the side cover to see if we have play again on the crankshaft. If there's absolutely no play on the crankshaft, that means our repairs from last week is working and that means the problem is not the crank. Then I'm going to have to start looking at the spark plugs. So let's first get this off and see what we can find. Oh man, awesome news. The crank gear pulley did not break loose. It is still in place and it still turns with the timing. So that is not our problem. The V bully broke loose. You see the sorry, you see the keyway. The keyway is worn out. So the pulley basically slips or doesn't run with the gear and that messes up your your crankshaft sensor. That actually messes up your whole timing. The crankshaft pulley broke loose. Yes, I welded it. Let me go speak to some experts and see how we're going to fix this problem more permanently. This is a couple of days later. As you can see um, there, the keyway is badly broken out. There's only uh, the key itself. It's only a little bit of key left. Otherwise, the rest of the key doesn't look too bad. I've taken a file and I made this a bit more level. The keyway in here that was worn, that we've put practice still is still holding pretty awesome. So this gear is definitely on for a long, long time. I've cut a special washer that I'm going to put on the inside of the pulley that will hold more surface. As you can see, it's about the same size as the gear. So the idea is for the pulley to grab the whole space instead of just half of the gear, which uh, the smaller pulley is doing. Let me show you guys. It's a bit smaller. I just wanted it to grab a little bit more of the gear. So it's going to sit like this. Anyway, so I bought a brand new pulley for us. Here's a brand new pulley. As you can see the keyway is nice on this pulley. I took away the paint at the back because the next step today is going to be to take Prattly steel. We're going to put the pulley on and we're going to build up this key and then we're going to tie the whole thing down. So there we have the Prattly steel and I've built up the key. Let's give it a few minutes to, to set and to dry before we, we do the rest, before we put the pulley back on. Because I'm not done yet. I just wanted to build the key up a little bit more so it has a shoulder to press against on the left and the right. Um, 
So yeah, when the key, when the pulley is on, or when the key is dry, we're going to put another bit of practice steel um, all around the edging. And uh, yeah, when we pull that pulley down, it should you know, spread out and hopefully stick to the whole gear, not just the keyway. And then uh, if some of the the um, practice steel comes through the key, well that's even better because then we can spread it around and make sure that the whole entire circle or the inside of the pulley as well as the key is also level with the practice steel. Okay we are three minutes in and the practice steel has set. It's still mushy but it's, it's set, it, it's holding the shape. As you can see now, there it is, a perfect key and it's locking both sides, not just locking the one side. So now we're going to put practice steel on the back and then we're going to touch it up here on the front before we pull the whole thing down with the washer. And there you have it. The pulley is on, the new and the old washer is in. I'm sure I've got more of a grip on the gear now than I than I used to have and I made sure this thing is tight 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 so all that has to happen now is the Prattly has to dry off so we'll come back in two days and uh, we'll start this baby up and see what it does hi guys so uh, since the repair that we've done on the Bucky it has been four days and I haven't heard anything back from the new owner of any news whatsoever so I take it uh, no news is good news that means the repair is holding and the bucky is still going fine so at least we got that thing fixed um, it's running I haven't had any issues with it when I took it for a test drive it started first time it was idling good I drove it for about a hundred k's and I had no problems with it I gave it to the new owner on Saturday and like I said, up to today, I haven't heard anything from him yet. So I'm sure it's, it's good. So, it's out with the old and in with the new. So, there we are. My new car. BMW 320D 2002 model. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.